Second premise is that human brain, or probably any brain, is an energy miser. What exactly does it mean? The brain is evolutionary programmed to spend as little energy as possible in any situation at any moment. And cognitive activity requires a lot of energy, just like physical activity. Even more, as it involves hundreds of billions of electrical signals sent in the neural network of the brain per second. In fact, a human brain consumes about 20% of the body's energy. So, that is why, at the level of cognition, we are talking about cognitive miser. Cognitive miser is a tendency of a human mind to operate in the most effortless way. Everybody likes simplicity. That's because of cognitive miser. Nobody likes hesitating. That's because of cognitive miser. People like making assumptions and don't like questioning their assumptions. Why is that? Exactly. This is also because of the cognitive miser. And, it does not depend on the level of intelligence. It is the same for everybody, it is like a universal, evolutionary determined property of a human mind. How exactly do people save mental energy? People use so called mental shortcuts to do it. A mental shortcut is the fastest and the easiest way to get to a decision, or judgment. For example, if you are asked for an opinion, but you don't have one, you just take somebody else's opinion. That's a mental shortcut. Because, otherwise, developing an opinion on a complex issue is an effortful process. If you need to describe a person that you just met, you rely on your first impression. This is also a mental shortcut. If they ask you what is the weather in Sydney right now, you reply, sunny, because this is the image of Sydney that you have in your mind. These are all mental shortcuts that we use to save energy for our brain. A very important remark about these mental shortcuts we use them constantly. All the time, and most of the time, without awareness, because these shortcuts are automatic, unintentional, and involuntary. And now it's the time to combine the first two premises and look at specific behaviors that these cognitive factors produce. Take a quick quiz on the cognitive miser and proceed to the next video.